this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. In this video today, you guys are going to hang out with me to see what it's like to be an orthopedic spine surgeon. Today, we have a, a pretty long day. So I'm going to be here probably uh, most of the night tonight uh, and day. It's about 6.45 a.m. We're about to get started here in the next 15 minutes. We have uh, four surgeries scheduled today. Uh, most of them are kind of lumbar fusions, which means uh, we fuse um, parts of the spine that are unstable. And then we have some decompressions, which means patients have stenosis at the end of their spinal cord. The stenosis can be caused by um, extra bone spurs, kind of ligament hypertrophy, or uh, like soft tissue that's pressing on the uh, dura. So we will decompress that and hopefully it relieves uh, some back pain as well as uh, leg pain. And then we have a patient who came in late last night who fell and has a fracture in her neck. So we're gonna fuse uh, her neck from uh, posteriorly, posterior cervical uh, fusion will decompress her spinal cord as well. But I just wanted to give you guys some glimpse. Uh, life as an orthopedic spine surgeon. Hope you guys enjoy it. just finished case number one we did a uh, anterior fusion anterior posterior fusion which is we go through the patient's belly to uh, fuse their spine and then we turn them over on their um, on their back to uh, put some screws and rods the second case is a gentleman who has a multi-level kind of stenosis we're gonna do a fusion goodness fusion from um, um, L3 to uh, S1. All right, so we're about to start case number two. We had a patient come in who fell and has a uh, fracture in her neck. So we're gonna do a posterior cervical fusion, which means making an incision on the back of the neck here, decompressing her spinal cord and uh, putting some screws into her spine, called instrumentation. I just came to get something to quickly eat. It's about 1 p.m. And we have another three cases to go out through this. So it's gonna be a long day here today. So in between the cases, I try to grab something to quickly eat and then review the imaging for the patient, looking at their uh, CT, MRI, try to get a, you know, uh, the trajectories of our screws, try to look at anything that's aberrant in their anatomy before the case starts. So in the operating room, we have this big CT scanner, intraoperative CT scanner, it's called a Arrow CT. We have all of our equipment and instruments that we will use during the case. This is all the instruments that we'll use today during this uh, surgery. So it is around 12.30 a.m. We just got done with our case. The last case went well, it's about three hours long. We did a fusion of uh, this uh, gentleman's back who had some leg pain, um, it's called radiculopathy. And we put some hardware, screws and rods, decompress the spine. Uh, that concludes the day. I have to uh, be up. In about six hours, I have another case at 7 a.m. So, I usually try to get there. Man, this Gatorade tastes good. I usually try to get there around 30 minutes before. Just to review the imaging and go over the patient's 
kind of uh, surgery. But uh, yeah, long day today. You know, this is, uh, you know, uh, not a typical day, but it's certainly days like this that happen where you, uh, you know, you, you are up pretty late. You know, you still have to go home and study. You still have to try to spend time with your family. You still have to, um, you know, have a social life. So uh, it makes it really challenging, but I didn't get a chance to see my wife today or my uh, son. Uh, so yeah, I have to see him tomorrow. Life of a surgeon. Thank you guys for hanging out with me over the last day or so. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time.